So what are we in for now in the remaining half of the year? Let's get the read from Susan Lee. We also have Catherine Rooney Vera with us. You know, uh, Catherine, when I look at that, I think of all we got wrong at the beginning of the year uh, and, and all the experts got wrong at the beginning of the year. And it's certainly not you, Catherine. I'm not pointing fingers there. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking of this. If you think about it, everyone thought uh, when, when Russian troops were amassing along the Ukrainian border early in the year, this is before the February invasion, that they wouldn't be going inside Ukraine. Of course, we know what would happen. Others said uh, whatever inflationary pressures were going to be would be short lived transitory. Uh, and they kept saying that well into early February. Of course, we know how that worked out. So now when I'm hearing everyone saying a recession is inevitable or that a slowdown is inevitable or that we're going to go to hell in a handbasket, that's inevitable. <laughs> the contrarian in me says, well, are we overdoing it? What, what do you yeah. think? The market is priced in a, a steep slowdown. We're already in stagflation. And stagflation, really, Neil, is just high inflation and recession at the same time. So even the Fed thinks so. A and my view is that the Fed itself knows that demand destruction, in other words, economic contraction, is the one and only thing that will bring inflation back down to that 2% target. It's but not would that be a welcome? would that be a welcome contraction? I don't mean it in the negative sense that mm -hmm. nothing brings down high prices like high prices. In other words, people stop, they slow. We might already be seeing that and that the Federal Reserve doesn't have to go crazy with this. We needn't get so crazy about it. I know consumer confidence is at all time lows, but that that maybe the, the pendulum has swung the other way now too much the other way. What do you think? Inflation is coming down, and that's for sure, but real wages, which is wage growth subtracting out inflation, is still remarkably negative. So what I'm more focused on, not is inflation, but how's the labor market doing? Because if we get a rollover in the labor market, then the consumer suffers even more. I mean, we're all already suffering from double-digit increases in food and in gas prices. Uh, everything is more expensive, services, goods. Imagine if you lose your job, or imagine if you're concerned that you could lose your job. You're gonna retract spending far more than just what you're doing because of inflation. I think that's the real issue. We're already in stagflation. As a note to the audience, the, today the Fed got out their now cast, which is their Atlanta Fed's forecast for 2Q. They revised that down, Neil, to minus 1% for 2Q. That would follow minus 1.6 for 1Q. We're, in theory, right. then, the Fed already sees us in technical recession. Ladies, I want to thank you both for that.